mentioned how you know he he's he le he learned how to get inside to, to open things up for you guys. Have you seen that in practice? Do you feel like you're getting more open shots in practice because uh, of him? I feel like I'm getting more open shots because of everybody on the court. Uh, because a lot of the guys they're like very intelligent when it comes to just uh, getting in the paint and on when I need to lay the ball up when I need to find somebody and like where certain guys should be and like if they're not there they probably cut so uh, a lot of them guys have helped uh, find a lot of guys open especially Xavier too. So. With uh, with Fats, you know, what's he like as a person? He he kind of mentioned earlier that he, you know he knew he was a goofball. He says he walked weird a little bit. Does he does he do anything? Uh, he's He's uh, I gotta say he's fast. He's uh, he, he's goofy too. So uh, don't let him fool you. Uh, he's a uh, he's a troublemaker. I don't, uh, I don't know too much about that, but yeah. he, 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 he he keep it over here. But he's a, he, he's a ladies man. He, oh, yeah, okay. He, but he's a uh, he's a good dude. Yeah, off the court, he's uh, funny. He's uh, uh, helpful and just uh, like family. So. So I was telling Bruce after I saw you at that event uh, that I called you the Philly Four. Yeah. Uh, I said, you've known these guys your whole life. Uh, Bruce said uh, he didn't know that. Bruce has been following Maryland basketball for about the past 60 years. <laughs> so just just to fill him in directly, how do you know Fats and Hakeem and Eric? Uh, Fats and me played high school uh, since I was in ninth grade. Uh, and we've known each other since then. Mm -hmm. And me and uh, Keen, we actually played when we were younger, like real young, because uh, he actually, their team had just got dispersed and uh, they found um, him uh, useful for us on our Philly Pride team. So he played with me mm -hmm. since then. So I knew him through there and throughout the high school stuff. Uh, and E, I just knew E, we played uh, at camps together. And, I always see him at the tournament, so we was real cool with like a lot of the players on uh, We Are One and stuff like that in New Circuit. So we knew a lot of those guys and we just knew them since we were like high school and, and stuff like that. Viner Four Gates makes your company work. Dante, uh, how excited were you when you heard Caduce was coming? Because it seemed like last year you were playing center, you were playing four, you were, now your role is more defined and you don't. You know, you'll not be put in situations that maybe weren't what you came here for, per se, having Caduce here. Uh, having Caduce uh, here is just a good, just great. Um, he brings a lot to the table, and uh, it just takes a lot off me, like having to guard the fives and just having to uh, like be in for like the whole game and just like wear and tear and just breaking up my body and just uh, having to get those recovery days maybe twice, three times just because I'm battling it down there with those big guys. Mm -hmm. And now Q here, so uh, it won't have to be as often. And uh, he can be down there with those guys and mm -hmm. help us a lot. Just, uh, he's, uh, he's a force to be working with down there too. You're certainly recognized as one of the leaders of the team. How's it feel to bring in a couple guys who have the experience? This is. This is, went from a young team to a really old team, per se. Not old, but with seniors and guys who've been, who've been around the horn a lot. Is that how, how much have you seen that difference in the structure of the team? Uh, I've seen a lot of guys trying to step up and just be leaders, but uh, a lot of guys don't know too much of the culture yet, uh, of, uh, like Maryland. But, I mean, they worked a long way and it's, it's coming along. And uh, you just basically ask questions. And uh, it's helpful when they ask me questions and I can help them out because then coach won't have to repeat itself just many times. And just all the guys just coming in and knowing like certain rules and stuff like that just uh, help me be a better leader because they know what they have to do and know uh, what they uh, need on the court. And like if they need help, they, they come up to me and I uh, try to express that and stuff like that. Uh, like when I was coming in as a freshman, uh, I try to work things out, and that's not always the best way. So sometimes you need help on the court by older, experienced guys, and that's what the, the new guys come and look for by talking to me and like, some of the older guys. Right. And right. Since we haven't seen you in a couple of weeks, how are things go with your family in that flood situation? Uh, it's been better uh, day by day. Uh, my 
mom actually sent me a text, but uh, I talked to her after. So, but it's been good. 